Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Maithani and today I'm gonna talk about how to create color coded calendar in SharePoint 2013 or SharePoint Online. So this is my color calendar I have created and when I add an event in my color calendar here, let's suppose I add a test one and in the category section there is different drop down available here there is meeting work car in business so let's suppose I select a meeting here and click OK this is my one event I have added and when I add another event using test 2 and select the category work car this time in the previous one I have selected meeting and when I click on save you'll see there is two event added but the color of two event is same because the by default color of SharePoint event are, is the blue color what I have selected in my page layout so what I want that if I select a different category let's suppose I have selected a meeting and after that I have selected work hour my color should be changed according to that so how to achieve that we can achieve that using our color overlay so how to do it there is a two step one is create your views and after that create create your overlay calendar overlay so first step is create views how to create a views just click on your create view section go to calendar view type the view name first is meeting and in the filter section there check the second radio button there so item only when the following is true so we are filtering based on category you can filter based on any column because the column is the key things by which you can filter the things so I'm filtering on basic of my category column and when the category is equal to meeting and click on ok once that is created you can create number of views for so how many views you want I'll create two or three views there so the second is my work hour and again I'll go in my show item only when the following is true select category select work are there click OK and third one I'm gonna create is <coughs> for business select category here and put the name business so one thing is uh, very important when you uh, select this category n is equal to put the name here make sure that whatever the name in that your category column the name should be exact same here click ok so once our views is created now go to your calendar overlay and there is a new calendar option click on that so first views I'm gonna create overlay for my meeting and in the color section you can select different color option available here so let's suppose I'm selecting a red color and in the list there is nothing and list with there is nothing currently so list means SharePoint count or calendar as a list and I have to just click on resolve here so this is my calendar what I have created and this is my view meeting coming up here click on on which show and click on ok so there is one meeting overlay is created and I have to create another overlay that is for my work cards you can select the color from the color section click on resolve and there is your work card option click on ok so two overlays good enough to go 
so once this tool is created just click on ok and you can see on the left hand side there is meeting and work are coming up here and this the color red and this one of the work are colors because we have already added two events there one is by meeting one is by worker so it's automatically taking the color so for the testing purpose i'll create an event again and put the name test 3 select any time and now put the category meeting and there you can see that the color is red and when I create test 4 you will see that the color will be changed for work card is different so there you can see that so this is how you can create color coding so there is a limit of 10 overlay you can create in one view in case you need more color for that you can create a different view but you know one view you can create 10 columns that is a limit of SharePoint online or Microsoft have set up there and you can create your event like different color like this so thank you so much